I'm going to give you free plays on both the side and total in the Big 12 championship between Oklahoma State and Texas. I'll let you know how to make some money when you watch this game on Saturday. Both side and total coming up for you in just a moment. Hi, this is Steve Merrill, wagertalk.com, right back here on Wager Talk TV, and we're breaking down the Big 12 championship game. Kicks off early Saturday at 12 noon Eastern on ABC National TV. Oklahoma State, more than a two-touchdown dog. They briefly opened as a 12-and-a-half-point dog, and that didn't last long. Instantly over two touchdowns as I do this on midweek here. Wager Talk Live odd screen has the Texas Longhorns is over a 14 and a half point favor now. It doesn't look like it's coming back down anytime soon. And of course, 14 is a very key number and uh, about a three to four percent chance the Longhorns win by exactly 14 points. So we did lose some line value when it crossed over that key number early in the week, but I don't think the line's high enough. I do a 10,000 game simulation through my database each week for every college football game. And on average in this matchup, I have Texas winning by 15 and a half points. So yes, it has crossed a key number, but the line is still a little bit short. And the Longhorns obviously have plenty of motivation to win big in this game as they are on the outside, one of those many one-loss teams looking in. But if Oregon wins against Washington, obviously they're going to be ahead of Texas. If Alabama wins against Georgia, they're going to be ahead of Texas. Yet if Georgia or Washington win, they're going to still be ahead of Texas because they're undefeated. Um, I think Texas obviously needs Louisville to pull the upset as a two-and-a-half-point dog against Florida State, and uh, they're going to probably need some help elsewhere, too. Just don't see um, really them catching up to anybody. So I do think it's all for not here, no matter even if they win by 100 points. But with that said, they are going to look to lay it on Oklahoma State, and I think they could do so for a couple reasons. First of all, Oklahoma State does not throw the ball well. 6.6 yards per pass against teams that allow 7.1. Cowboys' strength is their run offense this year, five yards a carry, but they'll be facing a very strong Texas rush defense that gives up just 85 yards a game and just 2.9 yards per carry. So I do think when Oklahoma State gets behind in this game, which they should as a two-touchdown dog, they're going to have trouble catching up, um, and therefore they don't have as much backdoor cover potential as other teams might have. Meanwhile, Texas has plenty of offense, five yards a carry also, but they throw the ball much better, eight and a half yards per pass, and boy, do they match up well against a bad Oklahoma State secondary That gives up 8.3 yards per pass. Texas allows just 6.8. Texas is a yard and a half per pass better. and They played equally strong opposing offenses this year. So Texas Longhorns, better offense, better defense. If you're going to play it, you better lay it. Lay the 14 and a half here with Texas. I still don't think the line is quite high enough. And I also like the over in this game. We'll talk a little bit about the total as well. Uh, This total opened as low as 53 and a half. Quickly got bet up to 55 this week. And I agree with that move. I like the over 55. A little bit of concern if Oklahoma State struggles to throw the ball in the second half. But as I said, Texas matches up really well with their passing offense. And I think they can continue to score some big play strikes as well. So I think Texas and the over are both correlated in this one. And yes, I do think they're on the outside looking in no matter what as far as the playoff picture goes. But they do have some motivation for a late score if possible to run the score up. So both Texas and the over make sense in this game on Saturday afternoon, noon Eastern on ABC. It's a Big 12 championship for you. Don't forget, I've got strong best bets in numerous other games in college and pro football this week. Huge Saturday in college football. Friday night best bet as well in the Pac-12 championship. Daily college and pro basketball best bets. And the NFL the last two Sundays, 7-1. and one. I'm 7-1 and one on best bets the last two Sundays. I love this Sunday's NFL card as well. So be sure to check out my page right now. When you do so, get an instant discount on either a 3-day, a 30-day, or a 365-day You figure out which package works best for you, which all sports, all access works, and you will get an instant discount as I have special promo codes available. 15 off three for the three day, Merrill 30 for the 30 day. That works up to less than $8 a day or SM365 works out to less than $3 a day for the one year all access. Figure out what works best for you. You don't have to memorize the promo codes. They're on my page right now, along with daily free plays. Check it out. Steve Merrill, wagertalk.com. Get there quicker with shortcut WT. Dot buzz slash SM. Be sure to follow me on Twitter as well. I post free plays and videos on Twitter every day at Steve Merrill, two R's, one L at Steve Merrill on Twitter. Also post free plays throughout the week on Instagram. Follow me on IG and be sure to stay tuned right here on Wager Talk TV for more great college and pro football preview videos coming up next.